We're going live here, guys, uh, as we're talking about do good work, helping in the community. Uh, I've been called out again for uh, a, a great cause and a great purpose. Uh, again, my reason for standing uh, in this particular situation is to show that there are great people doing good things. Normally, these type of uh, activities wouldn't be shown to you, but I still need you to believe and understand that, that if there's bad thing going on, that there's also good things going on. And God's using other people for a better purpose other than to spread just bad energy. Today, I've been called out uh, to help uh, a wonderful person uh, that I really believe that, that needs my help. If you have me uh, back here for me, I want to do a, uh, um, uh, just a quick talk, as I always do, to try to bring some education to what we're doing. The, um, as you know, we're starting to reopen back here in uh, Los Angeles County, which is definitely necessary. I drove down the freeway today and I saw the casinos and those individuals who didn't have any uh, place to work. Uh, and these people need money just like the rest of us. Uh, one of the things I want to just bring up as we talk about our lectures from the street is uh, everyday activities are more dangerous now, uh, uh, now that the new COVID variant is circulating, experts are saying, and this is as of January the 26th, they're letting us know that our normal everyday activity, which is going to the grocery store and buying gas and those type of behaviors, uh, they are more, more uh, likely to get us sick than uh, the uh, regular virus was. Uh, most of our data is coming from the UK, uh, Brazil, United Kingdom, in those areas they're, uh, because they're colder. They're, we're hearing that uh, variant appears to be more deadly than the original one, according to British Prime Minister. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson stated that Friday the UK variant is more aggressive and appears to be more deadly than the original virus. That's the literature that's coming through the UK. The, um, what we're getting here uh, from our local uh, press, uh, the states report that the vaccine shortage is a problem. As you know, the elderly now is who we're, who we're vaccinating. It's saying that there's thousands of people lined up line up to get the uh, vaccine uh, that a lot of people are, 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 are just being turned away because their their, their shortage is there. Uh, also, uh, as I can get you to zoom in, that uh, there's uh, this new variant strain, this new variant strain seems to be a little more resistant to uh, the vaccine. That's the Moderna vaccine. The new variant strain seems to be more resistant to the vaccine. Now, why is that important? Uh, we can get the next board. The reason that that's important is if we're reopening, which is what we're doing, if the virus is mutating, which is what it's doing, and now we're going to come around each other again, it doesn't negate the fact that we should be wearing our masks. We should be practicing social distances. We should still be protecting each other, save ourselves, do what you can to help your neighbor in this time of need. It's why we're having these do good of conversation. Newsom uh, uh, states that, he, that, that we're gonna be reopening. This is as of the 24th of January. We're going to reopen. Why? It's necessary. People need to eat. Folks need to feed their family. That is what this is about. But when we do reopen, it doesn't mean that the vaccine guarantees that you should take off your mask. You should not uh, 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 provide uh, practice safe distances, that you should do things that's going to uh, jeopardize the safety of others. Now, God has blessed me to come out to see a good friend today uh, to, to, to help to help Hi. us out. Uh, uh, um, uh, and, 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 and his parents. And but, uh, go, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm gonna let you. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna let uh, Pete here say yeah. his part. Pete, go yeah, ahead. I, I got infected. I think from work. Uh, I went to work, and I think uh, one of the coworkers got it, and then I, my sister got it, and then she got it home for the you know the parents. And um, and he's been he's been sick, coughing every single day, and uh, yeah, it's, it's really hard, really hard on us. Cause I'm the only one that that's not sick yet, but everybody else sick in the family. So it's really, really difficult right now. Um, but I think my my mom is still in the house. And I think and we 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 brought some stuff for for you guys, Pete, uh, uh, to, to 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 help out. Uh, what I did bring, if you can translate for your dad, yeah. I brought I brought vitamins, 
Okay. I brought him some antibiotics. Okay. And I bought him brought him some cough medicine. Okay. Everyone in the house is gonna have their own uh, uh, vitamin pack, okay. the COVID vitamin pack. I got an antibiotic, and the instructions is there okay. along with cough medicine. Okay. So this is gonna be for your dad. Thank you so much. Uh, for sure, Pete. I'm glad to be here. Yeah. This is gonna be for your mom. I'm not okay. sure if they're coming <laughs> out. Yeah. And, and this is going to be uh, for your sister okay. uh, that's there. It's uh, all, all the same medication. All the same. All the same. They all Thank have so the, same, the same medication that, that, so that, that we need. Okay. I, I, I wish your sister would come out yeah, so she, she can... Oh, my <laughs> there you go. Come on. <laughs> uh, can, I I was get get... A, can I get a prescription after that? Like, after you see No, no. Just no, no. Your, your stuff is free. Okay, your no, stuff no, is just, free. Just in case it ran out. If you, you run out, we're okay, good. Okay. I, I got, I okay. got a vitamin pack, uh, a, a COVID vitamin pack. I got it antibiotics enough, for yeah. you. And I also got cough medicine okay. for you. Okay. It prevents nausea and it prevents vomiting. Uh, what I also want you guys to do is, uh, I got mad. Oh, I yes, need you I need to that. throw the old mass away. Use this one. Use this one every day. Don't keep using the same mask. Thank you so much. Then I brought, I need you to do the deep breathing. One of the things that happened is COVID makes you cough, right. and it's difficult for you to take a deep breath. Right. So I, I, I have here what I need you to do in the deep breathing exercise. You put orange lemon garlic and onion and eucalyptus in a water pot and you inhale very deep okay. it helps with the cough it clears so it up water or warm water? Well, uh, uh, well, well you want to make the water warm okay and uh, i got all i got I, I made the instructions for you okay okay so what you do is and i got another one in case that would get wet okay. what you do is you you put the onion lemon garlic eucalyptus in five cups of water you bring it, make it vapor. Oh, make, so it's make hot, it vapor. Make it hot. hot. Okay. Then you you breathe in, breathe in deeply. Okay. It stops it from from giving you the the, 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 the pneumonia part. Oh. It opens the lungs up. Okay. So okay. this is the this is the deep breathing exercise. Now, mind you, here is a lot more. So I have more in, in, in it. You use it. You, this one you use once a day, okay. and then tomorrow you do another one. Okay. It's important that you do deep breathing exercises. And now, I also have another gift. If they could bring my other gift around, and we'll get the box there. We'll get the box there. Thank you so much, that's a lot of gifts. You guys are welcome. You guys are welcome. And here's the box. Now, here is an air air purifier. Air purifier. Air purifier. It's to, it's to kind of keep the air particles out of the house. Air purifier. Wow, thank you so Air much. Purifier. So, so I am painful. blessed. I am so blessed. So now I have a gift. I have a gift for you that oh, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you open the gift. Oh. I'm gonna let you open the gift there. All right. Go ahead. Open the gift. All right. Yeah. Go. Go ahead. Open the gift. Don't be afraid of it there. <laughs> it is my pleasure. I wish I would have had a chance to meet the mom. Yeah, my I hear. Mom. I hear she's been doing kind of bad. Uh, mom is mom is is seventy five. Oh. <laughs> there you go. That's the same. That that, that is uh, represent your guardian angel. Okay. They're saying that that there's that, that that of all the bad stuff that there's some good person right. that's watching over you. So when you say I run out of medicine. You give me a phone call. If okay. I don't come, I'm going to send the staff. Okay. You say you need some more stuff, you reach out to me. That's just Thank a representation so of your garden wow. angel. Uh, so God blessed. bless you. I know, so how, did, how did your father? Papa, uh, how, how you mind it? No, how you mind it? you mind it? 76. 76. Yeah. And see, it talks about the, uh, the seniors. The seniors is who you worry about that has more of a, a possibility yeah. of having a bad outcome from right. the virus. Right. And Pete had told me he had scheduled you for the vaccine in, uh, next week. Yeah. But unfortunately, you got the virus right. before you got yeah. the vaccine. So I heard it's dangerous you have the virus and you take the vaccine. Exactly, yeah. luckily exactly. I, luckily, I came, luckily, I, yeah, I came to get tested or else I would never know, you know the outcome. It could be worse. It exactly. Could be worse. Exactly. So it is important. That, it's glad that we found out you were positive before you got yeah. the vaccine. So if there's immunity or even after the vaccine, you have to wait about three months. 
How's mom? Is mom doing good? Or yeah, she, mom's doing better than my dad. She's yeah, doing better than Okay, well then I, yeah. I, I feel good. Yeah. Now, uh, any questions you guys have? Uh, no, there's a lot. I have a lot of questions. <laughs> I was going to ask some medicine, you got, but the medicine you got, you got everything like a lot. you need. Yeah. Everything oh, you need. Remember, I had COVID myself about three weeks ago. Wow. Everything I did to fight, I gave to you. Oh my God, so all you got to do is take those deep breaths, okay. Okay. take those vitamins, okay. Take those antibiotics, drink lots of fluid, and rest. Uh, thanks so much. All right. God, God bless you God guys. Bless you. God bless you guys. Yeah. All right. Be oh, safe. You. Make sure you call me if you need yes. me. Okay? Yeah. So All right, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, as, we, as we help each other and if people need us, it's important that you help your neighbor. Save Ourselves is about do-gooders angel warriors that decide to make noise for God in times of need. Help your neighbor. Be a good sport. Do something to make life better. Please also wear your mask and protect each other at this time as we don't know where this virus is taking us. Thanks for watching Conversations with Dr. Adams. Thank you so much. Uh, you guys Alex. are welcome now. Oh <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's see. We'll put the St. Jean uh, uh, sign here. Uh, okay, which means house needs prayer. Alright. Let me make sure I have negative. Negative. So that the St. Jean sign shows that the house needs prayer. If you see the St. Jean sign in any location, if you see the St. Jean sign at any location, it's a symbol that your neighbor needs prayer. It only reminds you that prayer also is one of the reasons that I think I was blessed to overcome this virus. Thanks for watching Conversation with Dr. Allen.